Hello, this is Chiak. We are back again with another set of Siberia 3 where we had... We gave our man his medication. It was... Made it way harder if he only just gave us a bit more instructions. Um, otherwise... Oh, hello. What am I... What am I trying to find here? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna assume. Oh, I found what I'm looking for. A film reel, apparently. Okay. Uh, hi. There you are. Let's go talk. Look just next to the films there, Miss Walker. You should find a film on Baranor. Okay, well, I'm gonna assume that film that we picked up in that one box was it. No? Uh, okay, she won't. Oh, here go. The film's missing. Oh, okay, here go. not how things went because of Captain Open. Ah, that must be Sarah. Please come this way, Miss Walker. I'll introduce you. Okay. Assuming that it is Sarah and not someone else. Okay. Miss Walker, may I introduce you to Sarah, my granddaughter? We've actually already met, haven't we, Sarah? I actually owe Miss Walker a candle. Thanks to her calmness and peace of mind, I'm still here and on my feet. She found my medication and gave it to me before it was too late. Donner Vetter. You don't mean you had another attack, do you? Ah, you're being so very naughty, Grandfather. You absolutely must let Dr. Zemiatine examine you. Come on, stay calm, my little child. When I go to the clinic to take the prosthesis to the young Yukol, I'll stop by and see the good doctor. Until then, why don't you make yourself really useful to Miss Walker? She's looking for some way to transport the Yukol caravan to the other side of the lake. Well, I think I've already found the solution. The boat in the film, the crystal, it must be the ship that's docked in the port. If it was able to transport the automatons you and Hans built, it could carry the ostriches across the lake. Ah, that's not a bad idea. 
but unfortunately there's a slight problem of size, dear Miss Walker. Uh... Sounds like you're talking about Captain Obo's alcoholism. I saw him earlier on the dock. That coward has been hiding himself in alcohol ever since he abandoned our automatons to Baranor. And he'd rather simply die than go back. He tells everybody that the evil monster of the lake is waiting for him, and that as soon as he goes back on the water, the beast will just up and grab him. <laughs> but of course, that is the purest fantasy. Grandfather, I know you're still really angry with Captain Obo because he abandoned the automatons that you built with your friend Hans and Baranor. He was supposed to wait for them. They were going to take all the survivors they found in the rubble to the boat and then bring everyone here to safety in Valsambor. But in the end, when he got to the beach at Baranor and saw the disaster and all the dead, he became really afraid. The disease, the radiation. He must have had an uncontrollable panic attack, so he immediately turned back, dumped the machines on the crystal into the lake, and came back empty-handed to Valsambor. And the automatons have been there ever since, in hell. But who knows? Maybe today he'll want to sell. I'm sure Kate will be capable of convincing him to help the Yukels. I have to go do my waitressing shift in the tavern. Come by and see me later on, okay? Captain Obo will be there. Hey, Sarah, are you an automaton? All right, then. I'll try and convince Captain Obo. Thank you for everything, Mr. Steiner. I don't know if I really should wish you good luck, dear Miss Walker. Baranur is only an open grave now. Sorry for talking during that cutscene, but it's just like the, the way Sarah talks, either it really is a voice, a very good, a very, very good voice to speech, uh, text to speech thing, robot voice, or that they've, they have, they did speed up her, the, the voice actor's dialogue. Okay. Um, so we can leave now. Thanks. Okay. Do we have the, we do have journal entries. It's anthology. Oh, sorry. I was thinking in my head like a journal journal, not like, it's like, Anything else in this area here, though? This place is huge. Not bustling with a lot of life. Not like the... the again, <laughs> the, the why are we... Oh, this... I want to actually see what this person is doing. Suspiciously. Over here. Hi. I don't believe it. He forgot to leave it open again. Kirill! Kirill! When I get my hands on him, this time he's really going to get it. Impossible. I don't believe it. He forgot to leave it open again. Okay, so she's locked out. I was wondering, it's like, what are you talking about? The gate. She's talking about the gate. Okay, I'm assuming this just lets me go in the great big circle. Something over here as well. What's this? Who are you? Yes, go to that corner, Kate. That's exactly what I want from you. What about this person? Anything interesting from you? When they shut the funicular down this morning, it created chaos. You... <laughs> you look very calm about it. <laughs> You're just like, I'm just happily reading my newspaper over here. Okay, so at some point we we can travel using the vernacular. Oh wait, oh wait, what was that? What was that? You want? I I can't. I can't bother. I don't. I don't care anymore. Oh, process. No, you go in Bosom 
The shopkeepers can't take it anymore. The shopkeepers are on strike. There have been ten thefts from my shop since those savages showed up. Mr. Mayor, who's gonna pay? Mr. Mayor, do your job and come out onto the balcony. The voters want to talk to you. The nomads are stealing our merchandise and our customers. The yukos don't belong in Balsambor. The shopkeepers have had enough. Was this recent? Because if they can't leave the encampment, then it's not them stealing. <laughs> Excuse me. What's happening here? Isn't it obvious? We're demonstrating against having the Yukul nomads parked on our doorsteps. But what for? Since they came to Valsambor, there's been no end to the shoplifting and vandalism. And on top of that, their souk is taking our customers. Mayor Bulyakin has to do something, and fast. We're not leaving until he receives our delegation. But why won't the mayor talk to you? Because he's a schmuck. He wants the nomads to continue their migration as much as us, but he's too afraid of annoying his higher-ups. And while he's gaining time by playing both sides of the board, we're watching our sales go through the floor. The authorities are asking the mayor to prevent the migration from continuing? They want the Yukuls to stay blocked in Valsambor? That's what people are saying, but if you want my opinion, the only thing the mayor is waiting for is someone to get rid of those savages without him having to get his hands dirty. Okay. People are getting more and more excited here. It'll be a riot if it goes on. You see me? Oh my god. So there's Captain Oboe. Something with the vernacular. I'm assuming we can't go in. Yeah, I don't see an option to walk inside. At least the, the guys are just like watching the protesters. There's just this guy over here. Chilling. Oh wait, you can't we can't talk to you. Do you have anything important to say? The shopkeepers are on strike for the first time in ages. That's not good business for anyone, if you want my opinion. Well, considering I mean, I don't know who's got their stores open, but I mean, I mean, yeah, I don't know if anyone's running their stores, so if it's just them out here and no place is open. Okay, I think we've made our way back. Maybe? I don't even know where I am at the moment. You want to say something? Looking for cigars or some hooch? I'm even cheaper than the nomads. Okay, not quite what I was looking for. I don't have any coins. Too bad. Hi, sorry, I'm apparently in your way. <laughs> oh, hello, car. Why am I looking at this car? Why is this car available to look at? Okay. I mean, so far I'm walking through this town, but... Oh wait, oh! Or is that just the fountain itself? Oh, that is the I fountain. don't have any coins. Yeah, okay, never mind. Bye-bye! Nope. Okay, I think now we've made our way around. Yes, perfect, okay. Actually, let's go into the... Let's see if the captain is still there, and then we can have a chat with him. Captain, captain, captain. Would you like to go to sea? I doubt it. Captain Obo? What do you want? What's Hedge? May I sit down for a second? Go ahead. Well, I'm sorry to impose, but I actually really- You know, you kind of remind me of someone. The wife of the quartermaster that served on board the Crystal after the war. <gasps> Do you realize? He got married to the first cousin of the wife of a machinist. Oh, okay. That's all really interesting, but what I wanted to ask... <laughs> That's a really great story, really. Because did you know 
So there. So the guy answers, I don't know nothing, Captain. Turns out he was hiding in the broom closet. <laughs> You're hilarious. Irina. The wife of the quartermaster. Her name was Irina Malevna. Crazy how much you look like her. Oh, gee. It's getting late. I have to go. You can finish telling me the story another time, Captain Ovo. Why did you awkwardly pause there? The lake is haunted by a demon. It's watching me. Waiting. I can feel it. That shape there in the water. What is it? What could it possibly be? Okay. Um. Sorry, I was wondering how do we take a look at what our, what the objectives are? Was that in the? Okay, back, 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 back. All right. So so far, from what I can tell, there's possibly multiple problems. Is everything okay, Kate? Not really. I'd like to ask Captain Obo if the Yukal Caravan can go on board his boat to cross over to Baranor. But I can't get a straight answer. He's completely sloshed. I'm sorry, miss, but I really think you're wasting your time. He's getting drunk again to forget his crimes, like he always does. To forget he wasn't brave the way a captain should be. Can you believe it? In Baranor, he just picked up and abandoned his passengers. And I know. He'll never want to see that cursed place again. I'm not sure that's true, Vlad. Even if he does drink a lot, the captain's a pretty good guy. Say the right thing, and you may be able to convince him. If I'm ever lucky enough to find him sober, even for a moment, I need that drunkard to listen to me. Maybe I can help you with that. I'll make him one of my famous small restoratives. After that, he'll want to sleep for three days, but at least his mind will be clear. Okay. You know the captain better than I do. What can you tell me that will help me to convince him? One thing's for sure. He definitely hates himself for abandoning all those people to their fate over there in Baranor. All of those men, women, and children that Grandfather's army of automatons was going to rescue and bring back on board the Crystal. He has the impression nobody here will ever forgive him and... To be perfectly honest, he's not far wrong. Plus, he's also racked with guilt. So in my opinion, avoid criticizing him. Okay. Has Captain Obo taken the crystal out of port since leaving Baranor? He's been far too drunk ever since then for that. And anyway, the port's been closed since the tragedy of Baranor 20 years ago. Do you think the crystal is still in sailing condition after all this time? I'm sure there'll be a few repairs to do, but Obo never stopped keeping it in shape, you know. He loves his boat, despite everything. Do you know why Captain Obo fled Baranor? He must have been completely traumatized by what he saw there. The catastrophe, the victims, and then the radiation. He unloaded the automatons on the beach, but he didn't expect they'd bring the survivors back right then. He just cracked, completely snapped. Full astern and goodbye all. Can you even imagine? Afterwards, he came up with that story of a sea monster appearing and attacking his boat. Yes, the old legend of the monster of the lake. Convenient, isn't it? Who knows what became of the victims and automatons the captain abandoned? Oh, everybody hates the captain for that. But nobody volunteered to take the helm of the crystal in his place to pick up the survivors. If there are any left in Baranur, they're all dead now, that's for sure. Grandfather says that the automatons would have broken down really quickly with nobody to maintain them. Go see the captain. Sarah will bring you the restorative when it's ready. Okay. Do I do it now? Is, is it, is it, is it, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. That is some thick juice. Take this, Captain. This one's on the house. Oh my 
God! This piss water unfattens the hatches, swamps the deck, and opens the portholes. Hello, miss. My name is Kate Walker, Captain Obo. We met each other earlier. To what do I owe the honor of your presence at the table of the regrettably famous Captain Obo? Wow, that... that worked quite well. This is good news, Captain. You're back at the starting block again. You have a new beginning, a new dawn. <laughs> now that's a good show of spirit, Miss Walker. What'll you be having now? It's my round. Uh... Criticize? So what? Nothing more to add, then. What I'd like you to do is to help me, Captain. I could even say you're the man of the hour. What do you mean by that, young lady? The Yukal Caravan has to cross the lake now. It absolutely must continue on its migration, do you understand? So I thought that maybe they could board the crystal. That way you could take everybody there to the other side, Captain. I know you don't have fond memories of your last crossing, of your departure from Baranor, but... Why the hell are you bothering me if everybody has already warned you about horrible Captain Obo? The gutless wonder. It's true, people are quick to judge. But they're not the ones who went to Baranor like you did. They can't teach you anything about being brave. Hmm, maybe. So tell me, where do you actually want to go then, miss? <laughs> to Baranor. <laughs> I'm a broken man because of what I saw back there that night, miss. A sad wreck of a man, really. And you're asking me to go back. <laughs> back there. Back to hell. I saw the hellish red eyes of the monster of the lake. Beast as big and long as my boat. Ask your Yukal friends what they think about it. They call it the Kilak. The evil spirit of the lake. The devil guarding the doorway to hell. Well, let's just look at it like a second chance. What do you say? No. Never. Play on his pride? In that case, I'll buy the crystal. What makes you think she's up for sale? You've left her in the port to rot. She's completely run down. You haven't the money to keep her ship shape. I have money, and I need that ferry. She's a fairy, not a liner. <laughs> and the girl wants to take the helm of the crystal. Now I've heard everything. I know that if the proud crystal had an equally proud commander at her helm, things would go better. But as you don't want to go on a voyage... <laughs> all right, all right. You can get your gang of little savages and board the crystal. I'll take you. Oh, thank you, Captain, really, with all my heart. And thank you on behalf of the Yukals. Oh, but be careful now, Captain Girl. You're not there yet. There are two conditions, and they aren't negotiable. First, we stop by Nahaldas. It's a little town just a bit south of Baranor. That will mean we avoid the most radioactive zones, but it won't actually take you too far off your path. And second, we also sail by day. I'm not going to finish up on the lake monster's plate. And it sleeps during the day. The beast is usually a bit of a night owl. I accept, Captain Obo. In that case, all hands on deck now, sailor, because we've got work to do before we can hoist the anchor. Come on, Kate. You hurry off and meet with the captain before he changes his mind. I'll go tell Grandfather to join you on board the Crystal with Kirk. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, so I think... Crime and punishment. I think that's it. I mean, otherwise, it doesn't seem to be much else. I can't do anything about the... I mean, for the people who, sh who are on strike, the minute I take the Yukals out of Varenbor, I probably said the town name wrong, 
everything they're gonna say everything is grand possibly either that or they're gonna find a new scapegoat hey okay now here's the question how do I get to the Yukos without encountering the 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 investigator I'm gonna see in the game saved. I didn't see the. Oh, there we go. It's the icon is up here. That's why I was looking down here the entire time. Oh boy. Okay. Can I go any further? It's kind of, it kind of makes it look like it's blocked off. What's that? Nobody. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to have a look. Where is, where would the captain be? Nobody. Okay, well, nobody would be here because the ship ain't sailing. Yeah, and that's just inside. Can... looks like there's stairs up here, but I can't tell. Okay, yeah, she is going up. Okay, well, I found the captain's nest. All right, Captain. How are the preparations going? There's quite a bit of work to do before we can hoist the anchor, Miss Kate. Okay. Maybe I can help you out with something. Well, the coal needs to be stocked up. As for myself, I'll look after getting the water tanks ready to be filled. Take this. It's the code you need for entering the hangar where the coal is kept. You actually need it to use the crane to load the coal onto the crystal. Don't forget to open the storage hatchway first. How do I open the hatchway to the coal storage on the crystal? Just turn the wheel on the ship's bridge, sailor. Okay. What do I need to do in the hangar? That's where you'll find all the coal you need for the crystal. One container should just about be enough. And don't forget to use the entry code for the crane that I just gave you. What do I need the crane for? <laughs> this here is for loading all the coal you get from the hangar onto the ship. Use the code I gave you so that you can access the control post. I'll take care of that, Captain. We need to set sail as soon as possible, so better hurry up. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no. What does what, what the code say? The code says... 0509. Easy enough. Unless it's a trick, but... <laughs> so it says, on the bridge, which... I'm not quite sure... Hmm... Hmm. <laughs> okay, some alcohol. It looks like it needs repairs. Too bad. Oh wait, what's that? Captain Owo's logbook. Okay. Definitely won't have time to read it this set, so hopefully I'll remember to read it during the next set. Sorry. What is the bridge? Like, is that on the outside? I'm gonna assume it's on the outside. It's kind of how weird some areas, the stairs are... You have to access it like, like so, like this doorway brings you to... But in others, it's you simply walk up. 
Okay. Oh, this is it. Okay. Now I just need to operate this crane. I don't quite know... Zero... Did it go? Zero, five, zero... Okay, so it just doesn't... Okay, I was wondering, like, the numbers weren't showing up, so I was quite confused. Oh, why did the... Uh, why close behind me, huh? It's so dark. Okay... Um, I'm not quite sure what I was doing there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing at all. This is also empty. Okay, I know I saw a switch before I start moving stuff around. Here we go. What's here? Okay. A what? A shoot. Okay, that's, uh, that's, okay, that's the switch to the tracks. But we need to fill this up with... Am I waiting for one of them to make a different sound? Okay. Unfortunately, terrible... I can't... I couldn't tell if that was it. Where are you going? <laughs> okay, please work with me here. I really don't know if... And where's my mouse? <laughs> Okay. Here we go. Okay. I need to bring this back a bit more.
Okay, that's nice and all. The problem for me is that the Spencer did not sound the same. Or at least, I'm sorry, not the Spencer didn't sound the same. It's the shoot. Oh my god, Kate, why are you walking up there? Okay, hit three of them. So when I click this one. Okay, yeah, so it sounds completely different from the other ones. So, now I tried to use the shoot, but it doesn't seem to go. That's what, that's, that's the part that I'm very confused by. Exit this view and use the shoot on the green cold dispenser. Click on the side, So usually you can drag and drop, but it's not, it's not allowing me to drag and drop. Is there a different view I can see this from? Yeah, I can't drag and drop it. Unless it's that or I don't have it in the right position. Oh, what? Maybe like this. Maybe I need to... No? Okay. Now I can use it, right? Oh boy. So you have to be in a very particular view in order for that to work. to click on Come it. Come on. Oh gosh. The thing back there though can help us. I know I'm way over time, but I figure I'm going to edit some things out. Again, the no instructions things. What? Has there been any instructions on this? And my mouse disappeared. That's the thing, sometimes the mice the mouse the mouse cursor disappears. I really don't like that. I really don't know how this puzzle works. Okay, that's nice and all. Okay. 
Okay, again, the mouse curse has disappeared. Uh, I'm gonna look this up as well. I don't, I honestly, it's like, what in the world? Okay, head down to the end of the track, enter the blue key, use the knife. What? There's nothing to suggest that, to use the knife. Okay, my mouse cursor disappeared again. What in the world? This game right now, okay, so some of the glitches that I've seen people, people saying this game is very buggy. So far, the only bug I'm encountering is the fact that the mouse cursor will disappear. Okay. What's the point of that? <laughs> oh, maybe we need to put the button there. Okay, game saved. And yeah, so frankly speaking, I don't think that puzzle was well designed. There was didn't really I couldn't tell what it wanted me to do. And there was no you literally had to just dick around with the knife to finally figure out that oh hey, this buddy can come loose. Otherwise I don't understand how you would figure out that puzzle without doing the let me try every single option that I have because I don't know what I'm doing. Either way, thank you for liking if you like, thank you for commenting if you commented, thank you for subscribing if you subscribed, thank you for favoriting if you favorited, thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time guys, see ya!